Hi everyone. Uh, in this lecture, I'm going to talk about the translation look aside buffer um, or the TLB. So we saw through the single level paging and the multi level paging that there's a lot of overhead required with translating a virtual address into a physical address. And this overhead can take a while, right? Take cycles to run these kind of lookups. So the question is, how can we speed this up? One way of doing this is to introduce a uh, translation look aside buffer. So the goals of today is to talk about what is this translation look aside buffer, how is it implemented, and how can we measure the speed up that we get from it. So what is the TLB? So the TLB is a special memory cache that holds uh, translations. So it's going to hold the most recent translations that have happened from virtual address to fi um, physical address. So this will reduce the, uh, full, the amount of full translations needed to be completed. Also, this, uh, so the question you may ask is that, well, okay, great, it's a cache. We have a cache. We have a CPU cache. Why don't we just use the CPU cache um, in order to do this, to hold these translations? Well, we could, um, but uh, you don't necessarily want to just use the cache for... Um, for these translations, you want to use the cache for other things. So instead, we want to introduce a new one, and we want to make sure that it's small, so much, much smaller than the CPU cache, because this is going to make it really fast to do the lookup, and this is what we're looking for. So how is this implemented? So this is the general idea what happens here. So we have the CPU, it generates some sort of logical address. So this page number and offset we've talked about before. So the page number, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to take a look at um, the uh, TLB, which is here. The TLB is going to hold a page number and a frame number. So if it finds this page number, so if it looks, it looks down through this list and it finds the page number, then that's called a hit. And now it can use the frame numbers associated with it to translate into the physical memory. So this is a hit. This is good. We're happy. Okay, now this if it walks through, walks through, walks through, walks through, doesn't find itself in um, the, the table look aside buffer, I'm sorry, translation look aside buffer, then we're going to go back down to the page table and we know the process there that we're going to look and we're going to see, we're going to look it up in the page table, we're going to find the frame number, and now we can go into physical memory. So that's the whole idea behind it. And this one we're going to say frowny face. All right, so what does this buy us? So let's think of it in terms of cycles. So here, if we have a hit, so we, we got a hit, um, that means that our virtual address, we came in here and we found it. Let's say it's right here. Yay, we found it. That means that it just took us one cycle to, that is certainly not how you spell cycle. Um, to get where we wanted to go because now we're in physical memory. Yay, we're there. Um, so that's great. However, if we have a miss, so here we have a miss, we look through it, we don't find it in the, um, the TLB. So now we need to go actually go back down to the page table and let's assume that we have a four level page table. So that means that we have to index into the outer page table and then we need to index into the next page table and then the next one and the next one. So at the very least, we're going to have four cycles. If you don't count the cycle that you look through the table, uh, the translation look aside buffer. So there's it, a lot of speed up. Um, and how do you actually measure? I think I'm getting ahead of myself, actually. Yeah, so back up a second. Um, so after a miss, what happens is that, so you perform that page lookup, all right, fine. And now you add that translation to the TLB. So now the next time that that virtual address is generated um, by the CPU, it will already be in the TLB. So you don't have to go through that um, process again of going to the page table. Great. Um, Another question that you could ask, and it's a great question, is what happens if the TLB is full? What happens then? Um, so we're going to have to do this type of replacement, and uh, we'll talk more about that later when we talk about virtual memory next week. 
So how do we measure this speed up? How do we know that we're doing better? So we can uh, calculate this effective memory access time and it's calculated like this. So we have H representing the hit ratio, we have C representing the TLB access time, and M representing the memory access time. Okay. So, um, excuse me. so here, let's look a little bit closer at each of these terms so we know how this equation is being, uh, it was put together. So here we have this term and we have this term. So I'm going to break it down into these two because these are the ones being added together. So on this side here, this is uh, the time that it takes when there's hits, right? This is hits. So the hit rate um, times one access to um, that was a TLB, one access to the TLB um, and one access to memory. So it's going to um, it's going to access the, so it's going to first, sorry, it's going to first here go to the TLB and it's going to look to see if the, if the um, address is there. So that's what C is. So C look at TLB and now M is the actual uh, going to memory. So mapping to physical memory. I know I missed an H in there. We're going to forget about that. At least I know which letter I missed. So there's that. Um, okay. And so now um, let's look at this other term. So those are for all the hits. That's what happens during a hit. So these are misses. So for misses, um, so this is this one minus h is just the other percentage of time, right? So this is a, all of these. If this percentage h is is always going to be equal to one, or a hundred percent of the time, this is the other part of the time. So this is the misses part. C uh, again is going to be look at the TLB, and now m is multiplied by two. So now we have two. Um, accesses to memory and so the additional so we are going to map eventually to physical memory let's see if I can spell it right this time nice I think you guys are like no you still got it wrong okay so map it to physical memory um, and the second access is going to be um, actually accessing the page table right we missed so we actually have to access the page table which is sitting in memory So that's where that two comes from. That's where the rest of this equation comes from. Um, so now if I give you numbers, you can figure it out. So let's assume that we have um, a memory access time of 100 nanoseconds. Our TLB access time takes only 20 nanoseconds and a hit rate of 80%. So let's calculate our EMAT. I'm going to call it EMAT now. EMAT. Okay, so we have hit rate of 80%. We're going to translate that to a decimal, 0 0.8. Uh, C is 20 nanoseconds uh, plus 100, which is our memory access time, plus 1 minus 0 0.2 times uh, 20 plus 2 times 100. Okay, and then we can do this. I'm sorry, so I calculated that already in my head, obviously. Minus 0 0.8. Uh, so this is 0 0.2 times, uh, this is 200 plus 20, 220, and dot, dot, dot. Okay, so that would be the effective memory access time. And then I could ask you questions like, okay, so what happens if our hit rate drops? How will that affect our EMAT? Um, will, what is more important, hit rate or memory access time? So this could inform us of 
which part of the hardware or software do we want to improve. So maybe it doesn't really matter what our hit rate is. Maybe it is better worth our time to worry about speeding up our memory access. Uh, so on and so forth. Um, or maybe dropping the size of our table look-aside buffer, so our translation look-aside buffer, uh, so that it's faster. So we can make those design decisions. Okay, so at this point, please let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm going to continue to post these. I'm having fun with them. Um, I'm hoping that you guys are learning things from them, and if you have any uh, questions, you will let me know. Thank you.